Ray Lewis and the Ravens go to Denver to try to keep Ray's career going. They're going to have to do it against the red-hot Denver Broncos. Welcome into the Sporting News Studios. I'm Tom Vandervoort. Joining me now on the phone to talk about the Ravens-Broncos matchup this Saturday at 430 in Denver, Cliff Brown, NFL writer. And Cliff, very quickly, uh, give me a key for the Baltimore Ravens if they're going to go into Denver and win this football game. I think the Ravens have to get uh, Ray Rice off in this game. Uh, he uncharacteristically had a couple of fumbles against the Colts. I think he's going to be stoked for this game. He's a playmaker, uh, a guy who could be a real X factor for the Ravens. So they have to get Ray Rice off. And then, of course, you know, defensively, somehow maybe Ed Reed can get a couple of turnovers or two against Peyton Manning, slow the guy down at least a little bit if they're going to win. Okay, now how about from the other side of the ball? We know these two teams met before, and the Broncos won fairly handily. What do they have to do to repeat that success? Well, I think the Broncos, they have to try and start fast. A lot of these times, teams that have a bye start a little bit slowly, have a little rust. So I think the Broncos, hopefully for their sake, can start quickly offensively, maybe start off the game with, with plays they really like offensively, to get that offense moving. And then defensively, you know, Von Miller's a key. If he can get pressure on Joe Flacco, it could be a long day for Flacco on the Ravens' offense. Yeah, it seems like with Baltimore, if they, the game is close, they can stay balanced. But if they get behind, it's going to be very tough for Flacco. Talk about Flacco in this game. He did not have a good game the last time these two teams met. Flacco is always a key figure for the Ravens. He's won a lot of playoff games for a quarterback who gets criticized so much. But in this game, Yes, he has to play well, and I don't think it's out of realm of possibility. Remember, Flacco outplayed Tom Brady last year in the AFC Championship game. The Ravens just didn't come up with the win, so I don't think Flacco's going to be intimidated, but he's got to play well, I think, for the Ravens to win. How about Baltimore stopping Peyton Manning? What do they have to do to kind of get to him and slow him down? Well, I mentioned uh, Ed Reed. Certainly, he'll, he's going to be a key factor. Can he and Ray Lewis anticipate what Peyton Manning can do? If they can get a pass rush, Terrell Suggs, this would be a game where if he could come up big, it would help the Ravens a lot. And also, Haloti Nada getting pressure up the middle in Manning's face. That's really what he doesn't like. When Manning can step up in the pocket, it seems that he doesn't even see what's going on around him. But if you get pressure right up in his face, that could be a key to throwing his timing off. Yeah, very good. And they certainly have an asset in Paul Kruger now who's playing a lot better lately. Give me your prediction for this game, Cliff. I like the Broncos to win it. Uh, I think the Ravens are going to give the cliché as gallant effort, not only for Ray Lewis, but they've got a lot of players on this team that have had their hearts broken in recent years in the playoffs. And I think the Ravens never go out easily, but unfortunately for them, they usually go out at some point. I think this is the end of the line for the Ravens. I like the Broncos to win this game and move on. There you go. We'll see what happens. 4.30 Saturday in Denver. That's the game. Cliff, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Tom. Always a pleasure.